Good day, everyone. Today we're heading to the heart of Africa, Namibia. This incredible country is a place of stark beauty, from the sweeping dunes of the Namib Desert to the wildlife-rich plains of Etosha. We're going to meet the Himba people, known for their unique customs and deep connection to the land. Let's go. Now, when we say unique, we truly mean it. The Himba people, living in the harsh landscapes of northern Namibia, have a way of building homes that's unlike anything you've ever seen. Imagine structures crafted from a blend of mud and, well, let's just say it's a testament to their resourcefulness and belief in turning everything into an asset. This unique building material isn't just practical, it's deeply rooted in their beliefs, thought to ward off evil spirits and bring good fortune to their families. It's a reminder that survival in this unforgiving environment goes hand in hand with respecting ancient wisdom. Namibia is a land of striking contrasts. Picture this, ancient traditions thriving alongside modern developments, vast deserts meeting the crashing waves of the Atlantic Ocean. It's a place where the past and present coexist, where the wild beauty of nature meets the ingenuity of human spirit. You might be cruising along a modern highway one minute, and the next, you'll find yourself face to face with a himba herder tending his cattle, seemingly untouched by the passage of time. This captivating blend of old and new is what makes Namibia so unique, a place that constantly surprises and inspires. Let's talk about hospitality, Himba style. In their culture, welcoming guests is a sacred duty. They welcome guests in the most generous sense. Himba women make guests feel honored and at ease. A woman might offer her husband's bed to a male visitor as a sign of respect. This practice emphasizes generosity and strong bonds with guests. Chapter 4. Social Structure The Himba people have a social structure that might seem different from what we're used to, but it works harmoniously within their way of life. Polygamy, where men have multiple wives, is an accepted and common practice within the tribe. This structure is not just about relationships. It's deeply intertwined with their livelihood and survival in a challenging environment. Each wife plays a vital role in managing the household, raising children, and contributing to the community's well-being. Chapter 5. Life Expectancy Life in the Namibian desert is undeniably harsh, and this reality sadly reflects on the lifespan of the Himba men. It's a heartbreaking truth that many of them don't live past the age of 50, a stark reminder of the daily struggles they face. This tragically short lifespan has a profound impact on their family dynamics and social customs. The women, known for their strength and resilience, often find themselves taking on the roles of both mother and father, ensuring the survival and well-being of their children. Chapter 6. Communal Child Rearing In the Himba culture, the saying it takes a village takes on a whole new meaning. Here, raising a child is a beautiful communal effort, and the bonds of family extend far beyond bloodlines. It's estimated that over 70% of Himba people are raising at least one child who is not biologically their own. This remarkable practice speaks volumes about their compassion and sense of community. Children are seen as a blessing to be cherished and nurtured by all, regardless of biological ties. Let's talk beauty secrets but not the kind you're used to. Himba women have a unique approach to beauty, one that's both practical and visually striking. Their secret, a special paste made from a blend of red ochre and goat milk. This vibrant mixture isn't just about aesthetics, it serves as a natural sunscreen protecting their skin from the harsh African sun. But that's not all. This magical concoction also acts as a moisturizer, keeping their skin hydrated in the arid climate and even as an insect repellent. Water, the essence of life, is a precious commodity in the Namibian desert. The Himba people, masters of adaptation, have developed ingenious ways to cope with water scarcity. Forget about daily showers. They've embraced an alternative method of personal hygiene. Instead of water, they use fragrant smoke from carefully selected herbs and the aromatic smoke from goat skin. This unique practice not only cleanses, but also imbues their bodies with a distinct and alluring scent. It's a testament to their resourcefulness and ability to thrive in even the most challenging environments. 
The Namib Desert, one of the oldest deserts on Earth, stretches across Namibia, a testament to nature's enduring power. This is not a landscape for the faint of heart. It's a realm of extremes where scorching temperatures and minimal rainfall test the limits of survival. Yet amidst this unforgiving terrain, life finds a way. The Namib is a testament to the remarkable adaptations of both animals and plants that have evolved over millennia to thrive in this harsh environment. Chapter 10, Skeleton Coast. Along Namibia's northern coastline lies a place shrouded in legend and eerie beauty, the Skeleton Coast. This desolate stretch of shoreline is a graveyard for countless shipwrecks, earning its ominous name from the skeletal remains of vessels scattered along its sands. The treacherous combination of dense fog, powerful currents, and unpredictable winds has sealed the fate of around 1,000 ships throughout history. Their haunting remains stand as a stark reminder of the raw power of nature and the fragility of even the sturdiest creations. Chapter 11. Stargazing Destination. Prepare to be dazzled, because Namibia offers a celestial spectacle like no other. Imagine this, a sky so clear and free from light pollution that it seems to stretch into infinity, a canvas for millions of stars to paint their brilliance. This, my friends, is what makes Namibia one of the world's premier destinations for stargazing. Whether you're an astronomy enthusiast, or simply someone who appreciates the awe-inspiring beauty of the cosmos, Namibia's night sky is an experience that will stay with you long after you leave. Chapter 12. Etosha National Park. Get ready for a wildlife adventure, because we're heading to Etosha National Park one of Africa's most iconic wildlife sanctuaries. This vast expanse of grasslands, woodlands, and salt pans is a haven for an astounding array of creatures, including the legendary Big Five lions, elephants, leopards, rhinos, and Cape buffalo. But Etosha's magic goes beyond its permanent residence. Witness the seasonal transformation of the Etosha salt pan, a vast, shimmering expanse that attracts flocks of flamingos and other migratory birds creating a spectacle that will leave you breathless. Namibia stands out as a global leader in conservation with a deep respect for nature enshrined in its very constitution. This commitment is not just words on paper, it's reflected in the fact that an impressive 40% of the country's land is under some form of conservation management. From national parks to communal conservancies, Namibia is dedicated to protecting its natural heritage for generations to come. Their efforts are a beacon of hope, demonstrating that economic development and environmental stewardship can go hand in hand. Now, conservation isn't always easy, and Namibia faces its share of challenges, particularly when it comes to managing its growing elephant population. While a symbol of Africa's wild beauty, a surge in elephant numbers can put pressure on resources and lead to conflicts with humans. To address this complex issue, Namibia made the controversial decision to auction off 57 elephants to international buyers. The goal? To reduce pressure on the environment and generate revenue for conservation efforts. The sale of these elephants, particularly to a zoo in the UAE, ignited a firestorm of debate on a global scale. Animal welfare organizations and conservationists around the world raised concerns about the ethics of the sale and the potential well-being of the elephants in their new environment. This controversy brought into sharp focus the complexities of conservation in the 21st century, where balancing the needs of wildlife with economic realities and international pressure is a constant tightrope walk. It ignited a conversation about the best ways to protect endangered species while ensuring the well-being of individual animals. As our journey through Namibia ends, we're left with awe and wonder. From the unique traditions of the Himba people to the breathtaking landscapes and incredible wildlife, Namibia stays with you long after you've left. It's a place where ancient cultures meet modern challenges, where resilience thrives amidst harsh realities. Give this video a thumbs up if you found it captivating. Share your thoughts in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you and share this video with anyone fascinated by Namibia.
Until next time, keep exploring.